Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. New brand in the store today, but not a new brand by any stretch of the imagination. I'm talking about Aquastar, a brand that's been around um, in one form or another since the early 1960s. They hold a bunch of different dive watch patents, and we'll get into kind of one of them a bit on one of the models. Um, their, their watches have been down some of the deepest parts of the earth, and I'm here to show you a couple models today. We'll get into them. Uh, from my own wrist check, um, I guess I'm wearing kind of two divers. On uh, my left wrist, I've got my uh, orange monster, my Seiko orange monster. I'm still in Halloween mode. And on my other wrist, uh, my Spinnaker Islander collaboration piece with the burnt orange dial. Again, orange mode for Halloween, but enough about what's on my wrist. Let's see the Aqua Stars. So I have two models to show you. Uh, the Model 60, which is a, uh, a re-edition. I guess they're all re-editions. And, and the Deep Star 2, um, which actually comes in four different colors. I'm just going to show you the blue one today. You can head over to the website and see the other colors. Uh, but the Model 60 is pretty much um, like their original, original diver. Um, I'm just going to read you a little excerpt uh, from their website. Um, in January 23rd, 1960, U.S. and Navy Lieutenant Dan Walsh, wearing the original Model 60 and co-pilot Jacques Picard, made a pioneering journey to the bottom of Challenger Deep aboard the Bath Escape Trieste to a record-breaking depth of nearly 14,000 meters. Um, so, pretty cool to watch as accompanied people to severe, severely deep depths. So the model is back. So this is the Aquastar Model 60. Like I said, it's a re-edition. Um, I should mention quickly, I said the brand has been a, around in some form or another since the 60s. Um, like many watch brands, it was, around, it was around, and then, you know, court crisis hit and some other things hit, and, the, you know, they kind of fall by the wayside. But I want to mention this brand in particular because it's being brought back by Rick uh, Mary. I hope I'm saying his last name right. I've only known the guy for, like, a decade. Um, but in case you don't know, Rick basically brought Doxa into the mainstream um, in the 2000s. Um, probably without him, you probably might not know what Doxa is. Doxa might be an Aquastar, a watch that's really just known by people truly in the dive community. I, in my own mind, I say Rick is um, the Ray Kroc to McDonald's. Um, if you don't know what that means, then... Eh kind of the man that brought McDonald's to everybody, but not the man that invented McDonald's. So here we go. Uh, this is the Aquastar Model 60. I do want to say I'm showing it to you on the nice beads of rice bracelet, but I'm selling it. It's a sales video after all. In a combo package, and it's going to come with a black tropic strap and a, uh, a one-piece nylon strap also. Uh, 1290 bucks, Swiss-made diver. It is a 37 millimeter case. It's an awesome, awesome size. It's 11 thick to a domed sapphire crystal. Triple AR coating on the underside. It is 47 millimeters on the lug tip to the lug tip. You can see it right there. It is a solid screw down case back. There we go. With the Aqua Star uh, Deep Star logo on it. Uh, it is a 20 millimeter bracelet. As I said, it is a beads of rice bracelet. It is solid link solid end link. It is sized with screws and of course it is a a flip lock. There we go. It is a flip lock. Not everything's easy to do with gloves. Flip lock clasp. Of course going around to the other side we're going to come up to 20 millimeters again and checking out the watch. Very vintage appearance. Paddle hands filled with loom. Really nice. Uh, screw down crown. 200 meters of water resistant. Weight is 145 grams on the bracelet. Super sleek watch though. 37 millimeters and just 11 thick. Really, really nice. Aquastar logo on the crown right there. You can see it. The bezel is bi-directional. And this is something that Aquastar was known for. Kind of a friction fit bi-directional turning bezel. Uh, let's see. Crown. Wind it change the time, one click out will change the date, of course, date at 3 o'clock. The movement, the movement inside is a Swiss La Jupere G100, which is more or less like an ETA uh, 2824, a Solita, um, but it's got a lot of enhancements to it. It is 28 joules, 
It does have a 68 hour power reserve. It is a top grade or top of the line movement. Uh, tungsten rotor, ball bearings, all, all sorts of good stuff. Really, really nice package. Like I said, a Swiss, a true Swiss made dive watch. You can kind of get up close with it and see it there. Now, I did mention, I'm gonna go get into the Deep Star 2 now. They do make a chronograph, I'm not carrying it yet. It's a little bit pricey for my taste or for my store's taste. So um, I stopped at these models. These are uh, $1,890. This is the Deep Star 2. Is it running Deep Star? Yeah, there's a sub, there's a mini seconds hand right there. Offset seconds. Let's, um, let's wind her up. So this one is actually running on a top grade Salita SW290. The SW290 is a, you know, it's a regular three hand movement, but the third hand is offset. That's why it's a 290. That's why you probably are not very familiar with the reference designation, but it's a top grade, which means it's got all the bells and whistles uh, to make it an excellent, excellent movement. Um, I did mention in the beginning that we were gonna talk about uh, patents, and this is one of them that they have. This is a very, very interesting bezel. And I'll bring it up for you. I'm not going to talk about how to use it. It's a, they have a video on their website. It's very well done. Um, it's a, probably the topic of an entire watch and learn. But it is a repetitive dive bezel. And you will use the bezel to time your dive with minutes and depth first. And then you'll use the hour hand to align it. And as time goes on, the nitrogen in the bloodstream will start to uh, the nitrogen that's absorbed in the blood from diving will start to deteriorate or start to outgas in a way. And uh, this dive, this bezel will help you to figure out what your next dive can be to what depth and to what duration. First dive is always your deepest, your second and subsequent dives are always at a shallower depth. But this dive bezel will help you figure out what the next safe uh, dive is. Of course, nowadays, this is all circumvented by tables and computers. U.S. Navy did a whole study uh, in the 60s and 70s uh, about this, but it's just really cool that they kept this little piece of history alive. So this is the Deep Star 2 Diver. As I mentioned, it comes in four colors. All, all of them are gonna be on nylon. You got a blue, uh, a dark gray, a light gray, and a black. Uh, so this is a 30, just shy of 37, it's 36.75 millimeter diameter watch. This one's going to be 12 thick to that dome sapphire with the inner AR. 46 on the lug tip to lug tip. It's the same solid screw down case back, um, 20 millimeters on this nice nylon strap. So as I mentioned, this is an SW290 movement, so hand winds, hacks. There is no date. There you go. Screw it back down for your 200 meters of water resistance. Let's come up on the dial a little bit closer. Try to get the camera, try to get the lens action out of there. Really, really cool looking watch. The bezel is bi-directional as I kind of showed you before. Like I said, if you want a lesson on it, they're aquastar.ch, they have a whole video on how to use the bezel. But it's a great, you know, smaller option for smaller wrists. Speaking of which, let's see how it fares on my uh, six and a half inch wrist. That is awesome. If you are looking for a smaller dive watch, you know, and you don't mind spending close to two grand, um, this thing is amazing. The blue on this, obviously I picked blue because you know blue is my favorite color, um, but the blue on this, the sunburst dial is really, really cool. The steel gray and the light gray, you know, nice. The light gray is pretty cool. Um, kind of like a steely appearance to it, uh, but the, uh, the black, yeah, it's just a basic black. You guys know what a black watch looks like, but uh, this is really slick, huh? Really, really nice. Let's see the Model 60. And pretty much at the same size, here's that Model 60. Um, there's the bracelet, beads of rice bracelet. Um, as I mentioned, the watch comes with a tropic strap and a nylon strap. So if you were going to take it diving, which you are more than welcome to, being 200 meters of water resistance, uh, screw down crown, etc., cetera, um, you know, those would be your better options for snapping it over a wetsuit. There is no diver's extension on the beads of rice, but you probably wouldn't use this bracelet anyway. Um, nylon might be your choice for that. But uh, it looks really good. Let's see how it lights up. First up, here's that Model 60, the Super Luminova, you know, that vintage kind of old radium appearance. Uh, looms up beautifully, easy to tell the time. Let's check out the Deep Star 2. 
And again, no problems reading the time with this one. This is the Deep Star 2. You notice the absence of the 9 o'clock markers and uh, what is that, 8 and 10 as well due to the uh, subdial eating them. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Uh, this has been Mark from AlongIslandWatch.com showing you the Aquastar Dive Watches, now available in the store. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Questions, comments, anything else you want to add about the brand that maybe you might know, love to read it below. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.